To determine which page content can be edited and which content is locked down, the project manager creates content groups or job assignments in the administrative editor. It's an easy point and click drag and drop process. Because you can create as many content groups as you want in a document, one to edit can easily support editing for multilingual documents where each language is a separate translation assignment. one to edit also has a powerful set of text segmentation features. You can segment text automatically using rule sets designed for translation memory systems, or segment text manually for highly granular control over your branded corporate templates. And of course, one to edit also gives you highly granular control over making content in an InDesign table part of an editing assignment. You can expose text for editing even down below the level of an individual table cell if you want to. Document graphics and images can also be part of an assigned content group if they need to be edited or replaced as part of a proofing or localization process. Editing rights are assigned using policies in one to edit project manager can selectively enable or disable various kinds of text and image editing features in InDesign. These editing policies can be assigned to all the content in a job assignment, or you can make exceptions for individual text segments or document images or graphic elements with special editing requirements. In the next video, we'll look at document versions and workflows.